ethnography is well placed to describe in detail the implications of the digital for experience and the ways in which we experience shapes the digital. This week, I reflected on the content I posted on my Instagram account about the All-Australian Night that happened last week. I reviewed my feedback in the form of engagement, such as likes, comments and follows. I noticed that my posts were going unnoticed by many users due to little to no traction I received on my posts. When watching the lecture, I realised the importance of the ethnographic skill of ideation and iteration. Using this concept of ideation, I focused on the style and information I wish to post on both my Twitter and Instagram page. In order to better connect with my, with my audience and broaden my niche, I found that my posts were lacking in detail and relying too much solely on the post itself. I believe to combat this issue, I can use the concept of iteration on my Instagram posts. This will include delving into player stats, game scores and injury updates a move towards information-rich content that goes beyond surface level. The plan from now for Magpie Insider is to transform and adapt my content on Instagram. I am now preparing for posts that offer detailed insight into Collingwood FC stats and player profiles. It's a commitment to providing a comprehensive view of the team's performance. At the same time, I plan to make Twitter my platform for succinct, bite-sized updates. Short, snappy, and to the point. This is suitable for the fast-paced nature of Twitter content. This strategic move is not just a shift in style. It's a calculated tactic I have employed using audio ethnographic skills of problematizing and exploring to fit my media niche platforms. By tailoring content to each platform's unique characteristics, I aim to solve the challenges of engaging my audience effectively. Problematizing the lack of traction and exploring new avenues for content delivery to overcome this issue.